You wanna grow on TikTok in 2023 and I'm gonna help you do it with this video. I'm gonna share with you 13 current TikTok growth hacks that are working right now to help you grow your account faster this year. So let's not waste any time, let's get right into it. First tip is to create content for search. TikTok wants to take over the world and a huge competitor of theirs is actually Google. And more and more people are using TikTok as their Google, as a search engine they go to to solve their problems and answer their questions. And TikTok is constantly making changes to make it easier and more effective to do that. And one of those changes is their heavier focus on search and search-based content. And this is a huge opportunity for you for two reasons. First of all, by making the right video, you know that your ideal person is seeing that content based on what it's about. And secondly, it can dramatically extend the content lifespan of a post because if it ranks within search and people are liking it, it can stay there for a very long time, bringing you consistent and valuable viewers to your content and eventually your page and your business. It is a massive focus for TikTok. So make search-based content a priority for you this year. And to make this easy, just think about what your ideal customer or follower is typing in what they're searching for what problems they have and then make content that solves those problems or questions. Growth hack number two is to write your captions for your content for SEO, which stands for search engine optimization. So this definitely ties into the previous tip, but you can actually strategically write your content and its captions in a specific way to increase the chances that you actually do rank within search. And this is definitely something that you want to do, especially with TikTok being early within search. Their functionality for ranking content is pretty basic. So by simply including your target keywords within the caption section of your content and even on your content via native TikTok text, it dramatically increases the chances that you will rank. So think about the keywords that you would love your video to rank for. What are people typing in and actually use those words within your caption section and potentially even in your content with native on-screen TikTok text. And if you're looking for more of a comprehensive guide, we made a completely dedicated video to that, which you can find in the card above of this video. Growth hack number three is to optimize your TikTok profile. Getting views on TikTok actually isn't that hard and there are a ton of people getting a ton of views, but converting those views into followers is far more difficult. And this is why it's so important to optimize your profile. So think about the visitor's experience. What do people see? How do they interpret it? And what is their experience when they come and visit your profile after seeing your content in their For You page? And this comes down to your bio, your pinned videos, the playlists that you have, as well as the thumbnails that you're creating for your content. A lot of people don't take the time to think about that, but when someone comes and visits your profile, if you have really well-created or thoughtful thumbnails for your videos, it can really help to capture someone's attention as they scroll through your content. And if it makes them watch more, they're dramatically more likely to actually follow you or see your content again and eventually follow you. So take the time to think about all these things, audit your profile and make sure it's set up the way that you want to increase the chances of converting visitors into followers. So have a clear value prop, a reason why people would want to follow you, share your personality and what you represent, and also give them a clear expectation as to what they can expect if they do follow you. Getting this stuff right will dramatically increase your conversion rate and help you get way more followers. Growth hack number four is to schedule your content out ahead of time. Consistency is huge on any platform and especially on TikTok. With people seeing so much content, you want to make sure that they can see you consistently to stay top of mind and relevant. And the only way to do that is to create and publish content consistently, which is really hard to do if you're just doing it run and gun and constantly posting from your phone. So I strongly recommend having a scheduling tool to actually plan out your content and make it super easy to remain consistent. And I recommend our schedule here at Flick because it makes it super easy to schedule out content and it also posts to Instagram and Facebook all within one scheduling tool. So shameless plug, if you wanna try our scheduling tool out for yourself, you can access a free week trial in the description box down below. And that will also give you access to all of our other tools completely for free. And if you do decide to give it a go, we made a video walking through how to schedule out your TikTok content, which is in the card above right now. Growth hack number five is massive and I cannot stress this one enough. It's to experiment with different content types and more specifically content series. So a series is a type of content that you can repeat over and over again. And ideally it'll be pretty easy for you to create. And if you look across pages that blow up on TikTok, almost all of them have found a content series that works and they keep going back to the well again and again. Some people's whole pages are built around series because they're so effective. And it's very easy to remember when someone comes across that piece of content and they remember that they liked it. So experiment like crazy, look across the pages on TikTok and start looking for this stuff. You will see that they have some sort of series or maybe even multiples of them that they go back to again and again because they work. It also makes your creation so much easier because you don't have to think as 
as much. So study other pages across TikTok and get creative with your different series that you can experiment with. Don't stress something not working if you post it and it doesn't go viral. It doesn't mean that it's not good. It doesn't mean that you suck. Just try something different or try doing that same series in a slightly different way. If you keep doing this, you keep trying different ways of presenting a series and keep doing more series, eventually one of them will hit and then double down when it does. You'll thank me later. Growth hack number six is to simply play news anchor for your audience or your niche. And this is super simple. Just stay on top of the latest news within your space and simply make videos around that presenting exactly what the news is. This is truly thoughtless content. You don't have to think about it. You're just simply relaying the message that you receive from a different outlet. And a great way to do this is to subscribe to newsletters within your niche and consistently check blogs that are posting about this kind of content. Because typically things start with written word and then it takes longer to get to video. So if you can be the one making those videos, you can become the source of this news for people that don't want to read. And it can lead to a ton of targeted followers with really easy to create content for you. Growth hack number seven is to get people talking through controversial topics. People love to share their opinion and tell other people that they're wrong. So if your content can become a place for people to do that, you're going to get a ton of engagement and that's going to lead to the video getting pushed even farther. And oftentimes you don't even have to pick a side on the controversial topic. You can just voice it and make that content the sounding board for people to share their thoughts and opinions. There are controversial topics and opinions in any niche. So this is possible for any account So take advantage. By the way, if you're enjoying this video, consider subscribing. If you're looking to grow on social media or just do social media better, this is the channel to help you do that. I post weekly free videos here to help you do all the social media things. So definitely subscribe and hit the bell button so you never miss a video that can help you crush it. Let's proceed. Number eight is one that you all need to hear so damn badly. Stop relying on trends. Trends may bring views, but they will not bring a community. People are so numb to trends at this point. And chances are, even if they're seeing your video, they've probably seen that trend done a bunch of times already. So people are just desensitized and it's harder to get people to actually want to come visit your profile and follow you. And the only real way to do that is to be unique and have a unique point of value or a unique form of content they can't get elsewhere. Anyone can do trends it's super easy to do. That's why people do them. And they can bring you views occasionally, but they're super unlikely to convert in a high way. So stop relying on trends. It's not going to give you what you want. It's not going to build that community. It can be easy content for you to create that can reinforce the community that you've built through your original content, but it's not going to be what blows up your page and builds a tight knit community. It just won't. And I know original content is scary, but it's far more likely to bring you results. Look across any page that has blown up and you will see it's something original, something unique that they've done that brought them this success. Almost no new accounts will grow primarily through trends. It just doesn't happen anymore. So stop wasting your time and start putting that time towards creating original content. Number nine is content remixing. A lot of people post a video and they think if it flops, it's just over for that content. And that could not be farther from the truth. There are a ton of people all across TikTok that do what I call content remixing. And what they do is simply rework a video or a concept that they've already posted before that didn't perform well. And this can look like just changing the hook, changing the first few seconds, maybe making the video shorter or longer. It's remixing the piece of content and giving it another go. And this is especially a good idea on a piece of content that you felt was really good, but flopped. You can literally take the exact same video, go back to your editor, alter the hook or the video itself and edit out things that you feel maybe aren't necessary and then post that same video again, but now remixed. And people that do this get a ton of results. Even Gary Vee himself and his team have said that they do this. And it could be the third or the fourth remix of a concept and video that could go viral. And the previous times it could have gotten no views. So make content remixing part of your content routine and especially do this on videos that you feel underperformed the level of value that it had. And TikTok is the perfect platform for this because your followers don't see every one of your videos. So you don't have to stress at all about fatiguing your audience from them seeing the same video over and over. Plus with people seeing so many videos, even someone who's already seen the previous video probably won't even recognize that they've seen this video before once it's remixed. So start doing that. Number 10 is to start telling more stories. TikTok is massive on connection. People love to connect with the people they follow and the things that they're saying. And connection comes through vulnerability. And the only way you can be vulnerable is by sharing stories because they're unique to you. So make it a habit to start telling more stories. This gives you an opportunity to relate to people, to share your personality, and to create a far deeper connection with your followers that can make them far more likely to actually truly ride with you and be far more invested in you and everything that you post. And this can become massive for creating the kind of connection and community that can bring you views across all of your content. Because once people are connected with you or your story, they're going to watch 
everything that you post, which will help all of your future videos. So tell more stories. The only way to become a better storyteller is to tell more of them. And this is all original content that can be massive for making you very unique and increasing how many people actually follow you because no one else can copy this stuff. If they want this kind of story or this kind of content, they have to come to you. Tip number 11 gets overlooked way too much. And that's simply to reply to your comments and be active within your comment section. With so many people on TikTok having so many views and followers, very often people that comment on content never actually hear back. So you can become super unique by simply replying to comments consistently. And you can take it a step further by actually replying to comments with a video, which can make creating more content even easier for you and shows your audience that you actually do care, you're engaged and you see what they're saying and care about it. And doing this will absolutely increase the chances of people that see your content and comment on your content actually end up following you and listening to what you have to say because they know that you actually care about what you're creating and the people that are consuming it. Growth tip number 12 is game changing and those that are doing this effectively are blowing up and building super tight knit communities that allows them to get consistently high views on everything they post. And this is the concept of making your page and your content a place for your ideal person to hang out. Talking about what they care about, sharing content about the things they're thinking about, what they're worried about, just truly understanding exactly who you're trying to connect with and making your page the ideal spot for them to hang out and meet people just like them. And a great case study of a page that's done this so well is Strawberry Milk Mob. And this example is perfect. So Strawberry Milk Mob is actually a brand of clothing, but the founder who posts the content posts almost nothing about the actual clothes that they sell. They instead make all of their content super relatable for their ideal customer. And by opening up the scope of the things that she talks about, it makes creating content way easier. It makes it far more likely that the videos will actually travel and it allows them to connect with her as the founder and the brand, which would be literally impossible to do if all she talked about was the bikinis and the clothes that they sell. It just wouldn't happen. People wouldn't care. So she instead makes the videos more about the audience and works herself in as kind of a character to make people care about what she's doing, the things she's talking about. And then eventually because of all that, the brand, whereas if she took a different approach and focused only on the brand, I can guarantee you with everything that I have that she would not even have a fraction of the audience. And that's a mistake that too many brands make. And I think this is the future of brand social. So go study her account and then I think it'll click and you'll understand what I'm saying here. She has made her content the ultimate hangout spot for people she's trying to sell to and people that are watching their content don't even think about it like that, but it's happening with everything that she posts and people are getting more and more invested, which brings her consistently high views. Scroll through her content. Everything she posts gets crazy high views because she did exactly what I'm talking about in tip 12. It's not easy to do, but if you do it, you will get disproportionate returns on everything that you post and people will absolutely ride with your brand just like hers. So kudos to you, Strawberry Milk Mob. You are killing it and you should 100% study what she's doing. Tip number 13 is huge and it's to stop taking yourself so seriously. The audience and tone on TikTok is very lighthearted. So if you're too serious and you're pressing too hard, people can feel it and it's really unlikely to connect with people. And one of the biggest things that I've seen with my content or anybody that I've helped is once they relax and stop pressing and forcing things and just simply go with the flow and be themselves, it works so much better. It's a feeling that someone can see and feel on the other side of the screen. And the only way to do that is to stop taking things so seriously. Zoom out. Don't worry about the performance of every single video and don't attach yourself to any performance metric because it's so varied and the next video could make everything else that you've already done blow up and become super big. View every video as an experiment, not a failure, and just keep making more content. Eventually something is going to stick and it will do so faster when you don't take yourself so seriously. You're being yourself and you're more lighthearted. Take your goals seriously, but not yourself. And you'll probably hit your goals a little faster, which doesn't sound like it makes sense, but it's TikTok. Those were my 13 TikTok growth hacks to help you grow your account faster this year. If you want more videos about growing on TikTok, let us know in the comment section down below. And don't forget to hit that bell button so you don't miss a future video that can help you do social better. And like I mentioned in the first two tips, TikTok search and search engine optimization is massive right now. And the earlier that you start doing this stuff, the more that you're gonna benefit from it. So watch our TikTok SEO guide right here. It'll help you understand all the basics of TikTok SEO and help you rank your videos in search so much faster. So go ahead and click this. I will see you over there and we'll hang out some more and help you rank your videos. Okay, click this now. I'll see you there. Peace.